What are you doing? Extracting another YouTuber and playing Roblox. Oh. Hello? What are you going to do today? Hello, my people. Yes. We're going to cut the video right now because I'm going to go get dressed real quick. Yeah. <laughs> King Caleb. TV. Oh, you're John Cena. I get it. John Cena, John Cena. today um what i'm gonna be doing today is just i'm gonna go in my basement we're gonna about to play some old-fashioned basement hockey basement, basement hockey, hockey cool um let's go show us some skills come on let's go we are you setting up oh it's the I'm hockey i'm playing with the goalie stick first okay i don't know how this is going to go okay oh this does this does not feel right this does not feel right. This does not feel right. I'm starting with my normal. Normal I'm stick? Sick. Oh, okay. This does not feel right. Time to get warm up, I guess. Oh, 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 oh my god. We might want to go outside. Go outside? Yeah, we're going outside. Why are we going outside? What's outside? I can put on my rollerblades. Oh. All right, we're going outside. Outside we go. Oh, he's carrying, he's carrying it all. Oh. So make sure you go check out my brother's YouTube channel, Sign King. Make sure you turn on the notifications, subscribe, and click the bell icon. Ooh. Look at that promotion. So we're outside now, guys. This feels much better. I have no idea if I want to risk my actual hockey stick. Out here, I'm just going to use it today. Next time, I'm going to use my other hockey stick. It's in my basement. I don't feel like going all the way in. But I'm trying to do this video with you guys. Spend a lot of time with my YouTube family. And thank you guys for watching this video. I love you guys. Oh, you missed. Go get it. <laughs> I'm going to scrape this stick up, but I'm not allowed to. You're not allowed to? Yeah. <laughs> Sadly. Sadly. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, man. One minute. One minute. One minute intermission. Woo. You gotta tell us something about hockey. hockey. Give us your your top ten reasons or top five reasons you love hockey. What's your top five? Friends. Making friends? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's number two? Maybe seeing people that you know. Cause like I have my friends named Patrick, um, Theo, and Gabe. Mm -hmm. Theo went is going to my school. We went. To, Gabe went to is going to my school this these years. Yeah. Since I was in kindergarten, and my friend Theo, I know him since I was in preschool. All right. What's... I think I knew I knew him from um, a soccer practice, and then like when I was since I was four, I knew Patrick since I was four, and then when I was seven, I went on a hockey team, and he was on a hockey team. So what about number three? Trying to be a player, and you want to try goalie, your um, coach will let you be goalie sometimes. Only if you're in that 
Uh huh. I think it's so playing goalie. Yes. A few minutes later. Had to maintain that, that six feet apart. Good job. Oh, what the heck? He said he showed you what a player is, but now he's a goalie. Yo, they show you that. So if you want to be a goalie, since I don't have the gloves, and my dad forgot to give this back to the Oak Park District, <laughs> um, I'm just using it for today, I guess. Oh, okay. So, and yeah, so I'm just going to use this today since my dad forgot to give it back. I'll remind them because we're going to, ho I go on to hockey practice tomorrow. So we can take this to them tomorrow. Oh, okay. So, uh, I guess it all works out. But, so if you want to be going, you got to know how to be able to bend your legs, legs and get down low. Right. Have this one up right there and have this one up right here. And always have your stick on the ground because if your stick's like that, they can just go, they can just sweep it under, like go five holes. Exactly. That's why you need to always, and oh, and people are going to try to do jumps. That's why you always have to have your puck, your head up. Yeah. Puck on the eyes, and then when they shoot, if they're going down low, kind of, mm -hmm. they're going to go down in butterfly. And since I don't have pads on, I'm not really able to show it. But yeah. you're going to go down in butterfly like this. You're really just going to, actually, you're really going to go like down like this with your hand and stick in it right same place mm -hmm. but since I don't have any pads on and we see these whatever these are I can't remember yeah those are on the ground I'm not trying to hurt myself today yeah but yeah and then you also need to know how to because if you want to act cool as you go to act cool if you're going to make a glove save because somebody shoots out of your glove you're going to have to be doing the window like this mm -hmm. so it goes in your glove and you're going to be like that once it goes in, you gotta go down. No, you gotta go. Then cover it up on the ice. Right. And then that'll make it look cool like you're a professional goalie. Mm -hmm. Or that was hard to save or something like that. Yeah. Makes you basically like, like the coolest goalie ever. Uh huh. On your hockey team. Yeah. People would be like, how is he so good? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's what they're gonna be? Not really, but you're gonna be amazed. Right. Let's just put it that way. Okay. And if the puck hits your helmet, it's very, it happens often. Like it might, it hit my, a puck hit my helmet like two weeks, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I was perfectly fine because, and the inside of the comfort zone, because you see the metal part, it's um always going to be protective. Mm -hmm. At a puck, nothing went bent in. Right. Nothing bent in. And if it hits you in the helmet, it's got a soft pattern, so it won't hurt at all. It might like little tingle, mm -hmm. like give you a little tingle, yeah. but it won't hurt at all. Oh, oh and if they shoot it kind of low, yeah. if they shoot it under your chin, mm -hmm. you, if, and you don't have the um, glassing or goalie neck guard, mm -hmm. like the thing where it's plastic, but yeah. it's strong or a goalie neck guard, then you're gonna, if they shoot it down low at the neck, you're gonna bring up your arms and legs, mm -hmm. your arms, and hopefully it protects it this. And it is gonna protect it, cause normally you're gonna have bigger gear than this. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be expanding your body size. Right. And you're also still gonna be flexible. Mm -hmm. And it won't hurt at all, cause like, it's only gonna hurt, you're gonna have padding on your legs. Yeah. You're gonna have padding on your legs. And you're gonna have a cuff to protect your private. Right. So then you're gonna, but then the only problem is, there's always sometimes people forget to fully close their legs like this. Mm -hmm. And don't have the five hole open. Right. And since they forget to do that, sometimes um, it might hit their knee. Yeah. And that happened to me like once before. I, since I was in a hockey class, I was trying to focus. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, didn't, I just was paying attention and I forgot about it and I didn't feel any pain yep. anymore. So then it all works out perfectly fine. Right. Cool. That sounds good, man. 
So, so you're gonna you gonna cut the video? Oh Thank no! You. Love you. Bye. All right, that concludes it. King Caleb TV.